Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today is a more serious video, unlike anything I've ever filmed before. I actually wrote something out to make sure I say it exactly how I want and that I don't share too much. So let's just dive right in. September 10th, 2016, 14 dogs died at a Saskatoon kennel due to a heating malfunction. I will not be going into details of what happened in this video. If you want more context, you can Google, but please do so with caution and a guarded heart. Please don't upset yourself. I must admit some of what I must admit some of what's stated in articles is true and some of it is not. This video will have no ads. I have no intention of making any money off of this. It's been four years. Every year, I struggle with what to post, how much to share, especially this year with my online audience growing. I've always debated making a video about my experience and my feelings, but I always stop myself. I am a strong believer in speaking your truth, but this is far from something that affects just me. The last thing I ever want to do is upset someone by possibly sharing too much or not in the correct way. Just because I'm okay sharing details doesn't mean others are okay with hearing them. In the past, I've ran from this, dodging questions, scared of what my clients may think, finding out I worked there for five years. Today, I choose to share a small portion of my truth in a way I hope helps me continue to heal but doesn't have a negative impact on others. I was there that morning they were found. Dogs I had gotten to know over five years. Some of my favorite grooming clients. Dogs I loved. Truly, the most traumatic experience I've been through. I feel I have found peace over the years, but every now and then, something small will take me right back. I'm not sure if that will ever go away. I'll never forget them. We will never forget them. 14 beautiful angels, never ever forgotten. What I hope the world learns from this tragedy, I hope kennels install temperature alarm systems, have someone stay the night with, or at least check on the animals overnight, and think through every possible what if scenario that could happen. The animal world is far behind in many aspects. Kennels, daycares, grooming salons require no inspections, regulations, or licensing. I hope one day we can get to that. I hope one day, under the law, pets aren't seen as just property. Today and always, I am sending anyone directly or indirectly affected by this tragedy so much love. I hope you have found some sense of peace and healing. Forever thinking of those 14 beautiful babies. Something I often find comfort thinking about is one day when it's my time and I cross that rainbow bridge because you all know when I die, I want to go where the dogs are. <laughs> How glorious it will be. To see them, along with all the pets I've loved and lost. Running to greet me. Now to me, that is the definition of heaven. While the bigger picture of this situation has nothing to do with me. I want to thank you for allowing me to express some of my truth today. 
sending my love to you sending sending my love to you sending my love to you all and thinking of them today and always take care